everything. All right, guys, so we're back in Free Code Camp doing Drop It and Intermediate Algorithm Scripting. So what you're going to need to know, at least for the way that I solve this particular problem, is how shift works. It's going to be very crucial. So if you're not familiar with how shift works, I actually do a basic video in my JavaScript array method or methods video that uh, it's a new series I launched. So go ahead and click the annotation that's going to be on the screen somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere you'll see it. And it's all, it'll also be in the link in the description. So go ahead and check that out if you're not sure how shift works and end up coming back to this video. It'll really make things a little bit easier. So what's going on here is that we're passing in an array and a function. And in this case, so you see the one, two, three, and then this function right here. And this is probably the hardest thing to grasp is using functions within another function. So it's a little bit of a, a interesting sort of you just have to get accustomed to it, I suppose, is the way to look at it. So the way I did this is shift here, well, sh if you just call shift, it will actually remove the zero index item and then shift the one index there. Then the two index shifts to one, the three shifts to four, or excuse me, the three shifts to two, et cetera, et cetera. And then it just drops off that, that ending thing. So essentially shifts everything to the left. So in this case, what we want to do is if this function, we want to run this function until we get a true result. And if it doesn't, we just want to shift it to the left. So the way I did this is very, um, very simple at the end of the day. So we're, what we're going to do here is say while, we're just going to do a while loop that says while, the f while our function is not true. So basically while false on this on the first value of our index we are going to continue to run the loop and what what how are we going to end the loop is just by shifting each value so again I'll go over this real quick because there's only basically two lines of code we're adding so while we have a false value in our function while we're getting returned a false value in this case for our first value and remember that zero is going to keep shifting to the left because each iteration we're going to shift until we get a true result and that's that it's really uh, a matter of understanding shifting and understanding that this function is working so what we're going to say here is uh, we'll just say while our function returns false on the zero index shift left until it is true that's basically our code right here so I hope you guys found this helpful it's pretty it's pretty it's more of a can you conceptually wrap your mind around how to solve problems than difficult so there's probably a couple other ways you could solve this this was just the first thing that came to mind for me but again, go ahead and check out that shift video if you're not quite sure how shift works. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I appreciate all the support. Check out my Patreon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Guys, I just want to say thank you to Testo Gaming for sponsoring this video. His social media is right here. You can also click this video, go to his channel. He does he has a gaming channel and does first-person shooters mainly, it looks like. So go ahead and check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.